I want to welcome back to watch here and it's about time for another episode of DS era. So yeah, let's just continue the story, I guess. I don't have like much to talk about. Thank you for explaining me stuff about Stripa and Lisa in the previous episode. And yeah, I think like with that we can just like continue, I guess, and get to some insane parts, which are going to be like in this or next episode, probably. From what I heard, like apparently something insane is going to happen. Not sure what, but I believe in your words, so let's go. What's your plans, Kay? I split from Himuro and as we left the club and joined Sakura in our search for Wilhelm. I had to admit, for some propositions shocked me. Okay, right, so insane thing would be probably fight with Bay or something. Okay, never mind. This is interesting. Wait, the Ren have training arc during the normal arc? What? Is she like trying to make him achieve further degree by fighting with her? Because if she if Ren cannot defeat her, then she, he cannot defeat Bay as well. So I think like she will not let him meet Bay unless he's able to fight with Sakurai with full power. I think that's what she's doing here. Also, wait, 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 hold on a second. We are in the amusing park. We do not want to fight here because, well, this stuff might open. Or is it your plot? Wait, wait, wait. What if Sakurai wants to open the thing in the in the theme park, actually, with this. That's why she's suggesting him to fight her instead of Bay. Huh? Okay, let, let's just read. We stood at the very top of the swastika in the amusement park. It was already past midnight and the place was closed, so luckily there were no other people around. Okay, never mind, so she doesn't have like any uh, bad motive for this, it seems. Still, I didn't get it. My sole objective was Wilhelm. I had to find and pry the truth out of him as soon as possible. I had no reason to mess around with Sakura in a place like this. Also, if you think about this, in like none of the roads, Ren really had a chance to fight Bay. He actually never fought Bay outside of the first time when they met and he got just massacred by, by Bay. Because he had no powers or anything. That's going to be very interesting and unpredictable fight, I think. Because we don't know like how, what, what can go wrong and bad or good. We'll eventually clash, no doubt. But there wasn't any time for that crap now. I first had to take care of Wilhelm, then rush to the church and make sure Valera Trifa wasn't going mental there too. I mean, he went mental quite a long time ago and now he's just like kind of a wreck but yeah that was to wear my top priority as uh, getting them out of the picture would more or less uh, liberate both him and Kasumi I wasn't planning on doing anything else until that got sorted out I could and should ignore Sakurai Ursauka and sister Brenner for the time being Wilhelm and Valeria Trifa are probably far more dangerous than those three or anyway お前が俺に協力めいた真似する理由も曖昧すぎてわからないな。ビルヘルムに用があるとか言ってたが、結局うまいこと言って、この状況にするのが目的だったんじゃないのか。うん。まあ確かにそれも完全には否定できない。藤
Oh. Oh, that is your plan. Okay, never mind then. Just like lure him out because he will see fight and he will want to join. Okay, that makes sense as well. My bad. In order to lure out that war addict piece of shit, we need him to catch the scent of blood in battle. A skilled hunter would hunt a wild beast by setting a trap rather than by blindly chasing after it. Yep. Thanks, good, good. The problem is, Sakurai, you are manipulating here. You are very manipulative here. I love it. Because there may be no innocent people, but if we fight Bay here and kill Bay, then this thing will open anyway and it will be Sakurai win. Wow. I love how she's manipulating Ren here. With like, hey, there's no innocence. That's fine. That's fine. That's going to be totally fine. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, the possibility of people possibility of people wandering the museum park in the middle of the night was pretty low. How about security guards? Though in that sense, the school might have been a, an even safer place. Was she actually considered on my feelings of not wanting to ruin that place? Or could it be that Well does it matter now? Did he just figure out what I just said? Like she wants to open this for herself? Or maybe she figured out that school have Rusauka and we don't want to fight Rusauka yet or something. It might be that. Right? つまり、これが最良だって。Okay. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Very good point. I don't know if I could do anything about Wilhelm if my body was in perfect condition. Sakura herself advised me to not underestimate him, and I certainly wasn't planning to. After all, he was the first one to drill the terror of the obsidian table into my bones. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I couldn't possibly underestimate that guy. And also Rusauka, she just like touched you with the finger and paralyzed you. That's been traumatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. ここ自分のものにできるんだし。俺に勝つこと前提かよ。負けること前提で話す人はいないんでしょ。実際。ああ、実際。Sakura was my enemy. It would be foolish of me to assume she should play according to to my rules. She had a goal of her own and was merely using me. It was no different. We had no reason to prioritize the other circumstances. Sakurai regarded me with a mocking smile, realizing that the situation had taken an odd turn. I exhaled a deep sigh. Because I had no choice now. I didn't feel like it, but I had to fight her. However... You were good to see eye to an eye anyway. I thought I might as well confirm one matter before diving headfirst into battle. Sakurai seems oddly in high spirits tonight. It seems almost like she enjoyed talking with me. Not to mention, she urged me to fight with her uh, almost sugar rewards. Yeah, there's some inferior motive. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not cared about what business Sakurai had uh, with Wilhelm. But I could not help feeling like she was having a blast spending time with me. What the hell was this all about? Sakurai lowered her gaze as a tremble ran through her shoulders. As she raised her face, I could see a broad smile plastered on her lips. Okay. Okay, being curious about, like, what your true power is or something, right? Because you have potential. And she launched. She still launched at me, barely making a sound. Oh, yeah. Now you are just like me. What do you mean? Also, it's been a while since we had this, uh, this view here. 
the CG. That's so cool. I love it. Finally, fight with Shana again. Come on, go fire mode. Dusha Gugan the Shana impression cosplay. Sakurai formed her. Hihi uh, he, he, Rokana. In the blink of an eye. Start uh, striking me from above. With our weapons locked together, she stared into my eyes before parting her lips to speak. Her voice trembled as if bursting with excitement. Damn. I remember her asking me something like this before. Oh yeah, Ren doesn't know that Kain is her brother and stuff in this road yet. Okay, yeah. What would a normal person do? I remember how I answered her before. She was correct. It was indeed what I had told her. However... Sakoi urged me to retract my words, taunting me as I remained silent, unable to open my mouth. Wow! Actually, I didn't thought about this. Holy crap, now he lost... Actually, someone close to him. He lost Kasumi. And she's asking him the same question because he knows the feeling now. Wow. This is perfect. I love it. Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> the dead could never be brought back to life, no matter what you tried to sacrifice. One couldn't pay the price for something that was invaluable to begin with. So even if there was a better way to bring a treasure like that back, it would turn to ash the moment that you made the exchange. Yeah, pretty much, and you will become the golden soup ingredient. Which Trifa is aware of, apparently. That was my opinion on the matter. I believe that remains unchanged to this day. Wow. So why couldn't I put my convictions into words this time? Damn. I like the strength to push her blade away. The sudden surge of excitement in her blood seems to have bolstered her power to such an extent that it completely overwhelmed me. What was... Uh, was that truly so? Was she the one who suddenly grew stronger? It's you who grew weaker. Your conviction just grew weaker because of Kasumi's death and you no longer think what you did, uh, what you thought before. Poor my doubts merely getting the better of me. Yep, that's probably that. I don't know, I couldn't tell, I had no idea, but... I vowed to destroy all those psychos and save Himura in the process. So I couldn't possibly allow myself to fall in place like this. A scorching heat enveloped my right arm, causing, uh, caused not by the burning uh, scarlet blade, but the fury of my very soul. I didn't even want to know what they lost, what dropped off, or the spread over. But they cap uh, capitulated uh, at the game of life the moment they chose to sell their souls to the devil, merely to heal whatever wounds life had inflicted on them. They were all slaves to Reinhardt, mindless skeletons, blindly dancing to the tune of the Memento Mori, hound by their master. Good line. Good line. And all of them, including Reinhardt, are dancing to the Mercurius. As if uh, trapped in the macabre dance of dead, a miserable Totentant. Eh. I would not believe it. I could not. I simply refuse to accept the ludicrous notion that she's been dead. Therefore, 
Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't accept such a sickening alliance. Even if uh, the world would turn out upside down. Okay. So unless, like, Bay confirms to him that she's dead, he will, like, keep his conviction, I guess. Duh. So not for long, I would assume. The tone of her voice implied that the time for games was over. Ooh. In that instant, the blade assailed me with, the, with more vigor than before. I, of course, still refused to yield. Our screams materialized as a fierce shockwave, blasting us away from each other. I used the chance of flying debris as a scaffold to make her turn me there, meeting Sakura Gaze, uh, who had done exactly the same. Her eyes burned with generally compassion and fervor. Why all Sakura CGs are so fucking good? Wow. Declaring that she's, uh, she would rob me of my life to fulfill her own wish. Kick,曲あなたも人命に価値の優劣をつけている。要はこういうことでしょう。綾瀬さんは大事だけど、ヒムロ先輩を犠牲にしてまで取り戻したいほど好きじゃない。かわいそう。ああ、かわいそうね。
I could not, would not feel anything else. Ah. Huh. Blood. Wrath, despair, the scent of battlefield deer. The Ivory Demon observed the clash fighting spirit and killing it and does it explode like blazing fireworks. Yeah, Bay likes that. Indeed, he calmly waited for his turn. After all, he had been fully aware uh, of the curse of distorted his fate. Uh, whatever he wished for, the most had been uh, destined to turn the sand and slip through his fingers the moment he dared to extend his hand. He lurked motionless, halting even his breathing as he waited for the right moment. The stillness of his mind would uh, have astounded even the most seasoned veteran snipers. Any such man would have no doubt knelt before a very man, begging him, uh, be begging him to take them as an apprentice. However, there would be, there would be but one answer waiting for them. Yeah, I'm not waiting. Like fuck that, I'm going in. That was hardly his preferred approach to battle. The fact the demon detested the very notion of lying in wait. Yeah, but as he said, he never gets what he wants apparently. Drink through flesh, crushing bones, and breathing, uh, bathing in the blood of his prey was the one, was the one true way Wilhelm knew he cared for no other. He would paint the night in blood and make it his kingdom. He would have the moon illuminate the carnage he wrought upon the mortal realm, unveiling his hegemony. Wilhelm Ehrenbung was a vampire. Despite being a creature of the night, he harbored no love for tricks and deception. Taking lives from the shadows had never been his way. Yep. To him, death, of, uh, death was the pleasure to be spread across the realm. Blood and sweet vitae to be consumed in torrents. It all existed solely to entertain the night demon, who spread his terrible wings to lord over the crimson night, descending upon the world as a phoenix rising from the midnight ashes. Wow, we are just like made like some kind of analogy between vampire and demon, like like phoenix. Really? The time drew night for the world to be enveloped in the sea of blood. <laughs> Countless stones sprouted from the skin of the beast one after another. They pulsated in concord with, uh, with his veins, charge, uh, changing the length according to his will. They were irrefusibly a part of his uh, very flesh. No other soul in this world could wield or transplant a wild thing like them into their own flesh. The beast had been the one and only rose of the demonic night. And it would drain and devour all life till the very world turned into the crimson desert withered to dust. <laughs> yeah, we know, Bay, we know. You are crazy and you like sucking blood and life from everything. We know. That's how your third degree works. The rose launched to the sky with a maddening crackle ready for hunt. The blood-sucking beast sowed the fields of the mirrored battles to quench his lust for murder, to serve his fervent love. For indeed, he was the sole vampire the world have ever seen, a demon that raged supreme in the dark of night. His fangs showed the mercy to no one. All would crumble to dust before the beast might. Okay. And we back to talk with Rhea, okay. We're jumping really around today. <laughs>